Hello, in this video, I'm gonna be covering different data types and I'm only gonna start with two different data types because we'll get into more complex data as you get into more complex code. So just to get started, we have numbers, which is our numeric data. And this can be a single number, a single digit, or it can be multiple digits, or we can have a decimal, any different type of numbers, um, yes. They can also be negative numbers. So I'm going to run my code. And so we see all this different numeric data, these numbers I just assigned to different variables. Also, there are character arrays. So for instance, I'm going to create a word, and then I'm also going to create one that's just a letter. So when I want to create strings, character arrays, I'm gonna be putting these single um, apostrophes around the letters. I don't want to make the mistake of trying to just type, so text sample, that won't work. I have to put those apostrophes around the text that I want to store. So in order to store this text, I have to put the apostrophes around it. And if you're curious, yes, I can put spaces in there as well. So I'm going to run my code. And then you see I now have these characters assigned to these different variables. And if we look over here in our workspace, we can see the different variables that I've created and the values that they have. It's also helpful to see the class. So if you go ahead and click, click on your workspace and then click class, you will see that information in here as well. So we can see the two ones with characters stored are char, so those are our character arrays, and then the rest are double, which is our numeric values.